HP. Thinkers are great, but doers change the world. Yeah! True innovation changes the way we live. Hi, I'm Tabitha Soren. It's reality, but better. Augmented reality is the layering of digital information over what we see in the real world. Like the first downline that shows up in yellow over the football field when we're watching a game on TV. But that's just one example. From industry, to retail, to the streets. Here in San Francisco and beyond, the visionaries behind augmented reality are coming up with new technology that will revolutionize not just our view of the world around us, but our entire experience of life. In the next 10 years, every interaction that we have on a daily basis is going to look totally different with augmented reality. It puts uh, a layer of information or content uh, onto the real world. It's all about this mashup of all these possible bits of information to enable you to serendipitously see something cool around you or discover something you might not have known was there. In the race to blend the digital and the physical, some companies have a running start. Literally what we've done is we've brought science fiction to life. Adidas, the iconic athletic shoe company, is making sneakers designed to unlock hidden worlds. What we've done is you can see here this contrasting code on the tongue. And what happens is when you present this code in front of your webcam, uh, the magic begins. The magic is augmented reality. The computer translates the code and generates a 3D image. A whole virtual world appears on your screen between the image of you and, uh, and the shoe that's, that's showing in your webcam. It's like a whole new level of interactivity just with a shoe. <laughs> Adidas built the game in collaboration with Mateo, a pioneer in augmented reality apps. I think the vision and the way that they are pushing augmented reality for brands um, met very nicely with, uh, with our vision. And if you've ever spent hours trying to make sense of the 4,000 little Lego bricks that came out of the box, Mateo has the software for you. Olav Gerlifsson is the director of Lego's 3D flow department. The company has licensed Mateo's augmented reality software. And the idea was here to create an exciting experience for children, parents, going shopping. And at the same time, we would also like to give our consumers a much better product information by using uh, augmented reality. At special kiosks in Lego stores, you can hold up a box in front of the screen. The problem was that you always go to the store, you have the box, you see the box, and then you wonder what you can do with this. You just hold up the box in front of the digital box, and you see exactly what's inside. Turn it around, see it from every angle. You can see the product fully in detail with sound, and just superimpose in the LEGO package. LEGO has been working on its augmented reality project for 10 years. Designers built this prototype AR kiosk in collaboration with a local university for a line of toys they call Bionicles. We had some fantastic experience with the prototype we had on and uh, the consumer reaction, they were absolutely positive. But the, the problem was the prototype itself was a kind of a table where consumers, they could move around Bionicle products. So we, there were very few stores where, where we could implement it. LEGO wanted to find a way to scale up its AR applications and figure out if they could be commercialized. That's when the company teamed up with Mateo. <laughs> by you know, taking a product like the Lego box in your hands and you look on the product as you're used to do it, it's interacting with information in such a natural way. First it was implemented with four products and now we're up to 24 and the, the technology constant develops so, so we hope to, to increase that by the end of the year. Whoa. And as for that Adidas yellow shoe, when the company was introduced to Mateo, it was a perfect fit. 
For us, uh, there's a huge strategic importance uh, that we've placed on pushing innovation. We're committed to adding consumer benefits to our products that extend beyond the traditional benefits the, or the traditional value of simply having a really stylish, cool shoe to put on your feet. What we are, are dedicated to doing is adding uh, layers of experience that extend beyond that and leveraging technology to do that. Augmented reality was a perfect technology for us to leverage to, to begin to do this. Many marketing firms agree that AR is the next big thing. Rob Gonda launched an AR campaign for the electronics company Samsung. The idea was to take the mystery out of shopping for a TV online. What if you can actually see how the screen will fit in your living room? So we enabled an um, augmented reality experience where we invited people to print a symbol, put it on the living room, then shoot their computer, the mobile laptops, and point at them and see the TV in multiple sizes in real time, how they will actually look in the living room prior to buying them. So you get the real gist of, of how it's going to look. But like all new technology, ultimately augmented reality must justify a company's investment. More than simply creating buzz, it has to help the bottom line. We absolutely don't believe that AR, more specifically what we've done with AR, uh, is a gimmick in any sense. We really, really believe that uh, in the very near future and, and with an increasing pace, uh, the mixture of virtual content and the real world is going to become uh, uh, second nature. Up next, we'll take you inside Mateo's labs in Munich. The wow effect you have with augmented reality, we are bringing this same experience now to massive end consumers on mobile phones. It's all about making it all easier, making the whole huge information space fit my current perspective, fit my current uh, need. And on an augmented reality tour of downtown San Francisco. Well, if they're out in the city looking for the BART station, they can just uh, aim it in any direction and find out where the nearest station is. And also, by clicking on the BART logo, they'll find the times of the next train. 